Hey. Let's do this first. Number one thing, we ain't did in my channel in a long time. I don't know when last time I prayed. It's, it's been a minute. Um, Y'all know how I feel about it. I try to go to the most high when I pray, man. I pray when I extremely need them. You know what I mean? I got to be on my deathbed almost, man. Um, I'm going to bring it in prayer because it's, it's necessary. All right? Um, I sit here in front of you understanding that If I wasn't a cat, I was today. Built in, worked on, enlightened, open, honest with myself, encouraged by so many of you. I need you to know. I wouldn't be as in front of you, but okay. Things that we go through in life, you know what I'm saying? We <laughs> challenged, you know what I'm saying? And this is what this life and being down here is about, is can you meet the challenge? And if you can, then there's levels to this, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. One always knew that. Come to the channel, and we're gonna take a couple of seconds, and we just go on. Most of all, we thank you so much. We come to you understanding that the preparation of life and the rigor rules and trials and tribulations, they're test. They are, we try to separate that from a piece, you know, from our things we want to do, like to do, not understanding. This life is going to be everything, you know what I'm saying? Everything. So we thank you for bringing us to understanding that trials and tribulations are part of the life and components which are necessary because they polar opposite. So just so you have the good, you don't have to deal with the bad because that's what, it, that's what it, we're out there for, that life, understanding and to find a balance. So in that almighty, we thank you so much because you touch so many of us They pray to you, they meditate to you, they surrender to your energy. One knows that we don't pray to an entity like ourselves. We pray to the universe. We pray to the levels of God's and my one. We pray to nature. That sustains us, that gives us the resources that we need. We pray to each other unknowingly to find a balance in our brothers and sisters when it doesn't exist at all. We pray for them. We thank you. Because so easily, dude, so many of us know you can you can wipe, wipe this away, you can wash it away. It's as easy as you was able to create it and bring it forth it's just as easy but you patient with us loving with us compassionate understanding <laughs> so understanding that all one needs to do is just surrender to you and say yeah i'm gonna let my spirit god understanding that this body this shell this car this this thing that carries the real me, it wants a lot. It wants to dive into everything down here it has to offer, good or bad. But it's the inner being that stays connected with you, oh my, that stays connected in line with the spirit, that helps keep the body in line so the body does not overindulge in things that's not necessary. And if it does, there's always an open door to you. One just got to sit down and take the time and listen to you. With the heart, mind, and intuition from the gut lined up in accordance with the communication, one prevails. 
So to you, Almighty Most High, we give you all the honor and the grace. Just love. The same love you get to. Hey, so thank you for coming. Thank you for being on my channel. Um, we're moving the needle. We're doing things. I thank people for um, sharing so much of themselves because that was the ultimate goal for me, and that's still the ultimate goal for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, I thank the chosen. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the ones that. What does it mean to be chosen? I don't. I don't say that in to separate us, to divide us, to make it seem like that those that they're watching, you're chosen too. That's why you watch. You was chosen to watch this. You know what I'm saying? You was chosen to come on this to grow. And you might not feel, some of you might not feel like you're chosen, but you, or maybe you do, and you're trying to see if you are. We are our chosen. Every one of us. Everyone is supposed to be bring balance to each other in some way or form, all right? Um, no, you can't. Everybody ain't gonna conform. This is understood. I totally, please let me know. Please hear me. Do I know that sometimes we're gonna be talking to people on deaf ears? Yes, most definitely. But my job isn't to make people listen to me. My job is not to go to people's channel and say, hey, hey, you come over here and listen to me or put gun in people's head. No, my job is to. What I'm being told, I'm being seen to do is come forward, speak your peace. You're so strong of a person that you care not what people think about you, really. <laughs> You're gonna tell it. And there's so many of us out there. The, the problem is that a lot of people seeing, you know, in, in character, am I a sharp person? Um maybe in my younger days, you know what I'm saying? But not now. I ain't sharp about nothing. All right, but can I be, you know, flustered, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, what they call it. Uh, but when you have the ability, unique ability to not, uh, uh, you know, people talk about you and all that stuff and you just let that roll off your back, it hits you now. I ain't saying it don't offend you or affect you or whatever it do. But when you have the ability to use that energy and, and, and turn it into something else, like I say, always, you know, I, I, I'm a sports person. I love my sports, uh, play all kinds of sports, play everything. And um, so I, I was a lucky individual to be able to transmute this energy into different avenues in my life. Right? Um, so that's why it doesn't bother me. Understanding that everybody you talk to, Sean, ain't going to register or understand what you're talking about. But what the purpose I have now here, the um, reason why I do what I do is because it's not necessarily, you're not going to get grasped overnight. You're not going to get grasped. Somebody's going to hear something. You plant the seed now, even in those whose minds are closed, but they still listening because the reason why they're looking at, at you and all that stuff is to see what you're doing or what you look like or your ass dying or whatever, and all that kind of stuff, right? But believe, understand. The, what they don't understand because <laughs> not many have privy to go get the psychology classes and you know get to 53 to experience a lot of things go through a lot of trials and tribulations then learn from you here you know what I'm saying so you learn from so you have you have a wealth of understanding to to speak on so how I look at it is I love everybody watching because the same, the seed's going to be planted I'm gonna say something that's gonna plant. All right. And so when you're dealing with the individuals who are not there for the purpose of healing, being coached to, you ain't got, when you got people like, I don't, you ain't talking about nothing. They just hate, hate, cool. That's why I said, because they too going to go through something in their life down the road. And so when they hit that bump, they break them down to their knees. There's some, they, somebody foot on their neck, dunking on them, right? And they look and say, they'll be looking up because I don't, we always got that. We're going through stuff. Don't we always look up? Yeah, oh God, like God, <laughs> like how you know, God ain't his, inside nerve, <laughs> inside you, on the side of yourself. You know what I'm saying? How you know, God right here ain't right behind you. How you know, God ain't carrying you. <laughs> 
I mean, footsteps. I love the footsteps, right? So, when the individual that is closed comes to that turbulent moment, that's when you hope that that trigger, that seed that you planted, starts to grow. And they start to reflect, you know, five years ago, this dude was talking about go within yourself. Here I am. I hear doing all this, this madness, or she, she all this madness. Man, let me go let me go look at the video, go look at some similar video or whatever, or see you five years down the line compared to them. And they like, <laughs> right? So that's what we work for. That's what I do. You know what I'm saying? I, I know I'm not going to catch, I probably ain't catching 10% of my people. You probably got 50 people and 10 to 10% on just listening. The other 40, like, I think this dude crazy. I think he really is an alien and don't he supposed to be on this damn planet. <laughs> so, so, hey, so we move. So that's the purpose. That's it. Because right. what you're doing is, in my mind, I, I think about it, just follow me with this. When I was young, I tell people, man, there's a reason why I, I do what I do. You, I, I really wish I could be like a, I could rewind time, y'all. Man, those that do do have the little machines to go back in time for. Some of y'all jumping, jumping that mountain, go back and front and go to San Jose. You, know, you see that little boy, boy. I was a good kid, manable. <laughs> yes, yes, mom, yes, yes, ma'am, yes, sir. That'd be robbing the hell out your ass. <laughs> Uh, savant finesse like some of these clowns around here think they are finesse but um so i had to have the had to all that the charisma and stuff finesse you out your pain had your wallet in my hand but you uh you grow you learn you know what i'm saying so i i did a lot of my madness a lot of my madness did older men it's still for killing i ain't kill nobody uh, I ain't shoot nobody. They they never put hand, guns in my hand. They always told me, no, 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 no. Ain't no safety or nothing go. Don't put nothing in that fool hand. It'll, it'll be honest. So <laughs> uh, I did a lot of demonstrative stuff up to the age of 13. So I got all of that bad grab out energy out of me. And but in the, I had a lot of learning in there, you know what I'm saying? So in that learning, uh, I was allowed to privy to see things that I probably as a child wasn't supposed to see at all. <laughs> I would show my children or my my kids and my son when I was raising them. So um that can hurt you. But it helped me. It helped me get hit. You know what I'm saying? It's like a survival kid putting the tool bag. You know what I'm saying? She don't believe in tool bag. Use everything, but too bad, right? So today, um, if somebody wouldn't have been there for me, like I say, I had everybody. I can name people that you like. Ah, damn. I had probation officer catch me. He had, you know, think about California, he's big. So he did probation. I see him every day, even on my good, great days in school, everything. That man cared about me. Real talk. Um, <laughs> Six to fourteen, they had one probation officer. Think about this. Uh, um, but that's back when people took their jobs like real, real serious. They didn't cater to money like that, like they like we do today at the masses. Um, teachers, teachers love because I was a smart kid. I was just mouthy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, knew more than too much more than other kids and shit be in class teaching other kids. <laughs> well, my mama said, <laughs> my mama said, another kid in the Boys of the Hood that played, I guess he played, did he play Ice Cube or did he play Trey? You know what? Be in case, African booty, not the African booty scratch, but the smart one. They say, my daddy, African, all that stuff. That was me. A little toned down. I wasn't mouthy like that, like disrespectful mouth. So, if I the point you get to, if I didn't have these folks in my life planting them seeds, then what you see the growth you see today, you know what I'm saying? Because you you don't you don't you don't when you plant that seed, you don't know how it's gonna you don't know when that's gonna flourish, when that's gonna blossom or anything. Right? You're just hoping for the best, okay? And it's on an individual to take that part. Affirmation that I came up with today was 
Uh, sorry I didn't come in this morning. I had a, I was trying to do a lot of stuff. You didn't get nothing done. <laughs> I got some stuff done. I got stopped in my feet though, because I started watching coaches, man. <laughs> Look. That was devil's day. We all that many days. Stop playing what I said. And I don't mean what I talk about. Yes. <laughs> that was crazy. But that's real too. I'm, I'm, I am. I am. I'm going to put my goddamn hand on retirement. No disrespect. You got your children sitting out there, but you know what this show is. It's adults. Say takes out. We got to stop playing with ourselves thinking that, you know, I'm getting people on the channel saying, well, what makes you uh, 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 eligible to be a coach? And da da da. And people get these certificates and, you know, advertisement this and that. Blah, blah, blah. Look at we life coaches, we inspiration, you know what I'm saying? We we the level below the psychiatrist, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't trying to be your psychiatrist because I don't need nobody telling me, coming to me talking about, well, I don't need all that. I don't need all that. And that's why we go by example with some of us and give you examples of our life and what we deal with. Because when you can hear, see how we operating in it and moving, then that gives you trust in you're seeing firsthand an example. And we ain't someone out there. We ain't lying about it. We ain't lying about it. All right. I'm a celibate since last year's show. So I'm talking about. So um ain't gonna lie about it. Someone's on our walk, we walking in it. Understanding that Almighty then gave us that the power to heal, bound over tremendous trials and tribulations that some just, I ain't even trying to do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to walk away or I'm not even going to do that or whatever. And some of us out there, we get in the desk, we take the chair, we risk and we get hurt. Da, da, da. And then we got story tell testimony and we ain't scared to tell you. But, and then you got to understand that we understand, I understand. There's going to people in there. Don't want to hear it. Uh, ain't going to be challenging. Uh, you want to get religion. I have people going to And now people say, no, I'm not going to religion. against the religion. I believe there was a Jesus. I believe it was a Shiva, Shalom. I believe it was all these folks. All right? At one point, it had to be. He wouldn't be bringing them out of their damn house and when touching their hearts or something. <clears throat> but how we looking at it and trying to use it and instrument it today, we know fully well we adding some bull. We just know it. We just know. And then the issue that I have is too many of us are not walking in action. Show me. I ain't from Missouri State, but show me. I was right next to it going to school. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, that's where we at right now. I'm trying to do less reading out of books and more physical show spiritually show what it looks like to be tuned in to almighty communication because last time i look ain't no last time i look i know for a fact almighty ain't up there like this sean and i ain't trying to be funny with nobody i'm just being real sean i need you to go to chapter let me read this to you I, I, I meditate, communicate with my almighty. I, maybe some of us are communicating to, right? A whole dip. Maybe some of us are communicating to an educated guy, a, a, a high school guy, and I, I don't know. I'm just saying with it, you got to be a certain level of something to communicate with that certain, you know what I'm saying? But I think what I'm getting to and, and alluding to is, I didn't want to do this video. I don't, it doesn't matter what you think about the individual. I'm not here for that. I'm here for the aesthetics of what that individual was trying to show people. You know, Kanye got a different way of thinking and everything, and I love it. Because he don't think like everybody else. He ain't trying to. And please understand, you know who I am. I ain't saying that man name because he'll bit this. I don't need no. Mm -mm -mm. Using him because the truth is the truth. The man was setting up religious or faith faith churches outside out in this you know area or whatever 
inviting people to a unrestricted free type Methodist agape type uh, religion and stuff and or understanding faith and bringing people with no boundaries. Let's squash the I'm this and I'm that and I'm that. Just come fellowship with other people. Come bring positive energy with other people. And we give you one we can 30 minutes, everybody go to their set, prescribe religion they like, they rabbi, they minister, Baptist, Methodist, priest, well, and then once we get done that, come to the we'll come to the big fellowship and we'll, We can figure that out. And that's what I was the the what I seen from that individual showing. You know what I'm saying? And so many, so many others. We just know that he highlighted it because Kanye, Kanye, you know what I'm saying? But that's my journey with so many others to get us to understanding well, why we fighting. Because you Muslim, you Christian, you Baptist, you Pentecostal, you you, you Jewish. Why are we fighting? Because we're going back to that same individual years before. Listen to me. What did he say on stage? I believe I can't quote him. I believe he said, when we get back to understanding and respecting the human race, the human race. People, if we really stop playing with it and we really look at it for what it is, when you came out the womb, and let's just be honest, and I'm like I say, everything I talk about, I'm not being funny and I'm not trying to be sarcastic. I'm just being reality with it. When you came out the womb, I think about the first, the original people that crossed, that put this land up. I, we no guarantee they came in this land, lived this land for so long. Uh, Bible didn't get written till. Okay. And I know I got you got to do it. They got the commandments. Yeah, but it was the commandments. It was like, you know, what I mean? a list of stuff. It wasn't a whole. Okay. We have to start walking it. Because we didn't came in, at one point in time. We had the masses believing in the book and abiding by the book, prescribed by the book, and doing fellowship. Boom, boom, yeah, Muslims, Christians, everybody. You know, Farrakhan was out there talking to the Jews and everybody talked. We, we, we might not we 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 might not agree on stuff, but we're talking. We talking. We ain't trying to start a war. You see what I'm saying? But we came to the point where what you talking about? What are you talking about? That ain't in the Bible. That ain't what the Bible say. And then we get to the point, that ain't what the Bible say. But the Bible say, and we got more people not doing what the Bible say. So what does it matter what the Bible say? I'm trying to get people encouraged to do just the basic, the simple. I Man, just look at your brother, your sister, like you look at yourself. That's it. That's it. Problem stated. Why you here, Sean? Why coaches like coaches here? Why does something so simple seem so difficult? What is it? You can't get nobody to love, they said. More people in this world don't. Love themselves? <laughs> no wonder we out here killing each other, cussing your neighbor out, fighting, wife killing husband, ain't talking about a hood, killing wife, burying them in the you know, you know you don't like somebody when you kill them, and then you go try to hide and get away with it. You really didn't like that mom. Like you didn't like that food for a while.
It's us. Who we talking to? No, I'm talking to the person that's out in the street, enjoying the street life, and still um, acting like a kid in, in their 30s, 40s, and stuff. Got you know, I ain't talking to you. I I could be talking to their their child who on their computer, looking at mommy, could daddy computer and stuff, and you know, glad to see. I love listening to Elijah and me. Shout out, bro. Um, I haven't listened to you in a while, but you know, because I've been in my own zone. But he's real direct. We get up, we get up all our ass. Me, women, all of us. We ain't about no work. The work that we need to put in. Everybody worry about work this, work that, making money this. Man, work daily on being a better person to your fellow man and sister. Work daily on people around you that you know damn well they're going through. It. And you probably got some of the solutions or you can be helpful or whatever, but you're just a bystander just looking at them just like, look at this dude. Look at this dummy. Look at this chick. You know what I'm saying? You got innocent people sitting up there like, you, you need to sit down. But won't say nothing because no, nah, I know. I did like that. Like I don't know. I know. They won't. They won't say nothing because they don't love themselves either. See, when you don't love yourself, you love looking at people that are going through stuff because that make you feel better about yourself. I'm fucked up, but that motherfucker over there, he more fucked up. She more fucked up than I. Am. You see them, and then you go gossip around it, and not realizing. Did you forget? Have you looked in the mirror lately? Like your life is like one hanger away from trash. You know what I mean? But we do that because somebody else is more miserable. Misery love company, right? <laughs> Got levels to misery. Too. So really it's the misery that's trying to find some company. Like, what's the right company to be with? You know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to tell you, if you don't think here you is, you miserable, right? And you looking, you're not really looking. You're just in your miserable state. So you're around miserable people. <laughs> you're around miserable people, right? <clears throat> but the people around you see that you're more miserable than you, right? And every time you stay around, you just stay miserable. Nobody can help you out your miserable because everybody's miserable, right? But they, you're more miserable than them. Listen to me. And they probably equipped to help you out of some of your misery. It's like they misery right here. So they like being around you because your misery down here. <laughs> and when they come around you, you so damn miserable and they listen to your problems on it, you make them feel good. Trying to tell you so. It's talking about the energy vampire. That's it. Yeah, that's just the truth, man. That's how it works. Right. Now some don't play that game. I'm one. I'm just like, get away from me. Because <laughs> I might think it's you. Okay. Or shut down. You know what I'm I just won't mess with you. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Okay. So it's it's us, man. We I, I ain't a book. The book ain't miserable. The TV ain't miserable. You know what I mean? Us. So who best to help you? Another person got you. Been through it. Done it. Bound it over so many times. You know what I'm saying? That shh, Ayana can fix your life. <laughs> Real talk. You tell, you tell Miss Ayana. How you doing, Miss Ayana? Tell she can fix your life. Yeah. You know? So, women. You out there, make sure you listen to positive people, man. Don't listen to nobody that can't look at their life like, how you gonna tell me something? Which brings me to the next one. Look, we all go through. Ain't nobody perfect out here. You once were, so you came down here, but you got into this thing. It ain't perfect no more. All right? It's impossible because the two don't, they don't line up like 
directly. It ain't it don't look like this with your alignment, with your soul body. You see what I'm saying? And spirit. You have to bring that in line. Um, one thing I wanted to express to the beginners of meditation and those who those who have been doing it for a long, long time will know what I'm talking about. Um, because everything is not hunky dory when you um it's nothing bad, bad, but you have to watch yourself. Bobby talked about this big time. Panic talked about this big time. When you're going through your meditation and you are heavy in it and you're going in, some of you are going to realize that it's not necessary after a certain amount of time for you to sit down for a long period of time in your meditation because you've grown into your meditation with that. You are walking in a meditative state at some time, all right? And predominantly a lot of time. And so... I'm also trying to talk from them, looking at flies flying over my cup. <laughs> I'm about to reach over. Um, uh, yeah, you don't have to. You you you'll find that you won't stay in that. You'll get the same um, effect. Fifteen minutes. All right. So it's just getting there, getting into that space, and once you get there, you operate and do your thing, and it'll come out. <clears throat> um. But it's a way, it's a walk of life. It's a way you, it's it's your, um, a lot of the uh, folks know in the Christian realm, they, it's almost like you're talking about, you know, I always got my, my conscious, my mind on, on, on God and stuff like that. And that's just, just what it is. You always, you know, you're being a servant to your spirit. Your spirit is directly connected to the source. So you're allowing me, myself, allowing the spirit to guide me instead of this body saying, no, nah, man, let's go to the mall and, and get them joys. Let's go. Let's go get this. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to 23. Much love, Angel. Um, you, you, you. And yes, I did say that. I said that in an apology effect because I know what I bring to this table. It don't matter to me who you are. I respect all levels up and down. But in my life, if somebody like just like I know, if I if Sean do something, I go out here and do something. Somebody gonna make it known, right? It, it don't come. Anything ain't, ain't got a chance. Hey, you know that dude that, that say he? Yeah, I just seen him beat somebody down in the street. And you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> hey, that's a good thing because I gotta be checked just like everybody else, man. That's what this is, man. Check us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what's gonna make a, a better day? Make get you get you through this life without being destructive. Cause we got this much destruction. So, um, I'm checking one of the greatest man. Not checking, but speaking upon it. It's it's an aesthetic. It's not that I don't love this cat. I love all of us. We are. That's me. You know what I'm saying. And the reason why I speak on it because that's the most, one of the most powerful ones in this world. We know this. You know what I'm saying. And when you um, right now, just me, my opinion, please respect my opinion. My opinion, people, is, man, my mom, if I can ask right now, looking at this, every powerful individual, they got money, don't got money, but got the image and influence in your community, in your universe, in your space, where did you, and that was the next thing I was going to say, where did you, when you wake up and get up, you inspire somebody just by getting up, walking out your door, just by going to work, just by showing up to school, just by showing up in places. You inspire somebody because somebody looking at you like, hey, man, you made it. All right. We good now. But if you don't show up, people are like, where's such and such at? Y'all ain't, huh? Y'all ain't seen that butterfly coach? You see know what I'm saying? And you get to, you're down, you're worried, you're in, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you might not, that might, uh, ain't your friend or friend, you don't know, you just used to seeing them every damn day, and they was the light for you, the inspiration, gave that motivation, and you know what I'm saying, that, that dampens your day. So that's right there, what I'm getting to is that shows us that we are each other's inspiration. Not the TV, the phones, and no, the computer, 
big. No, that's just the equipment I use to watch my inspiration, each other, the human being. Yeah, I can go read the Bible and read the book. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. But what's the greatest gift that God put down here? Me and you. Not the books, not anything outside of us is greater on this world. Nothing. But something is. How do you know this? Because many devalue themselves. Destroy the outer, change it up. I don't like the way I don't like it. You don't like the way. Wait a minute, you're confusing me. You say you believe in God, higher power. Did you go to, did you communicate with Almighty before you made this decision on changing his creation, her creation? Did you go to Almighty? And, mm. Or maybe some did. And say, yeah, my almighty said I can do it. Okay. Hey, these are all right. Get outside. He's right. I can't wait till he go. But um, so that's how I look at things. That's what makes me different because I'm not willing to think along the traditional way of thinking that people have put on us. It's been put on us. A lot of our thinking has been put on us instead of a lot of us going back in our understanding and say, okay, you know, before I got to this capitalism, this wealth, and blah, 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 and we was running around <laughs> sharing it, you know, gardening, the whole family, everybody going to eat on the block. You know what I'm saying? Before we were doing that, what were we practicing? How were we doing it? You know what I'm saying? Were we, were we jealous when we running around here? What he got, she got, and all that stuff. You know we were. And now you know you weren't because I was just, some of these schools bring back um what some of them look like, they don't bring back the dress code and bring back uniforms. <laughs> man, I believe that all day. I, man, all day. And make them an ugly uniform. <laughs> yes. I believe in that dude. Yeah. Cause you ain't got no problems. You know, because cool ain't the child ain't coming to school worried about their image. Worrying about who got this, who got that. These are what our kids go to school worrying about. Schools, the children today go to school suited and booted. And we ain't talking about it don't matter what income line it is. We all know that. Mama daddy today. Sending their kid, even the, the poorest kids are dressed the nicest. Wow. Because the parents don't want you, don't, don't want other kids talking about their kids and, and talking about your, your mom and daddy ain't got nothing. We might not got nothing to eat in that refrigerator, but you're going to get your shoes and your jeans and your expensive. Mm -hmm. You might not good, good, get good grades in school, but you're going to look good. They ain't going to talk about us. Oh. That's us. Oh. So this is my opinion, too. This is my opinion. Right? We'll give you that opinion, Sean. Right. Eight kids. And raised eight. You can even say I assisted in it because I, I didn't have them. <laughs> but I was pinnacle in it. So that's my uh, aim. That's my, you know, youth. You know what I'm saying? I don't worry about too, too much 30 up. We said, no way. You said, no way. I, I entertain listening to you, a lot of y'all because you do have a lot, a lot of wisdom and all that stuff. But when you when you look at the everything, you know, probably like me look at everything, we set our ways. We still want to follow. We still we don't we don't like ourselves. That's that's that's, that's we're seeing it. A lot of stories coming out, a lot of docs and 
But we gotta start back to loving ourselves, caring about each other. So that's what the love aesthetic is. And it's not so much that um that love is we need to love, so we don't be killing each other. Not now. Look yourself so that you can live in a better life. You know, we live healthier when we're loving ourselves. You live in a better life when you're loving yourself. You're happier when you're loving yourself. You, you want people look at me. Use me an example, please. Go look at videos before. I got a whole channel. The, the old channel is Sean S H A W N S H E L L M A N. Go look at that channel. Look them. Go look at the first videos on that on that channel. You'll see a cat out there, man. <laughs> Shoot, man. Hey, mm, this is real talk. Cat trying to save his life because I was like, man, I'm so I'm a ticking time bomb right now. Ticking time bomb because I'm fed up. All right. Cause I, just wasn't unha- I was unhappy. I was unhappy with my situation. I was unhappy with my surrounding. All right. I was unhappy with myself for the choices I made and stuff like that. That's just the bottom line. All right. All right. So you're here now. Why are you here now? How you get here? What helped you get here? People. People. Difference. I watch people and listen to people who's been through. Things I couldn't even imagine. I couldn't even imagine. And you still here? Not only are you still here, you talking to and you coaching using your testimony. Child, stop. Boy, stop. No, man, that's me. That's me, right? I can do that. I've been through a lot. I can do that right there. Okay. So. Whatever spar, whatever light you can be, know that you might not consciously know people watching you for their inspiration and things like that. Everybody is being watched for inspiration by somebody. You got a best friend, you inspire them. That's why y'all best friends. Each one of y'all inspire each other. You wonder why they ain't best friends no more. You know what I'm saying? We stop inspiring each other. Because we stop loving us. Mm-hmm. How can I inspire you when I don't love me? I can't even inspire and motivate myself. <laughs> That's how this works. And a lot of us understand. Society's done that to us. Society wants you to be on your computer. Society wants you to be on TV shows and stuff and be make your, your put your world, your universe inside there. No, no, you ain't living, Sean Shelman. You live in little hip hop. No, 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 you live in, see what I'm saying? Modern family. You live in, and I name mama shows because it's just shows. It don't matter. We put that's why you watch TV because you want you like the the other reality of other people to take you away from your reality. I can't live in my world right now, bro. See what I'm saying? So. Same thing while we smoke, drink, uh, get addicted to whatever we do, because we try to escape our problems. We all know that, right? I don't know. I'm different. I ain't trying to escape my problems. I do what I do because I'm trying to enjoy, enjoy, you know what I'm saying? Get some enjoyment. Because knowing I got to come to my, I'm coming right back to my problems and staying in my problems. See what I'm talking about? So I'm just saying, hey, stay, hey, work hard, go through, go through, I said, go through stuff hard. Go vent hard. Go to the golf court. Hit 180 balls. Sit there. Spiff one real quick. Talk to TikTok. Tell what? Balance. Talk running my mouth. I ran my mouth today because Friday. Don't think I forgot, y'all. Friday was Meditation Friday. And I know I dropped off a lot because I felt the energy. <laughs> Thank God I was asleep. <laughs> I was knocked out. Didn't wake up through too much. So thank y'all. Um, sorry about that. Drop the ball. I can admit that. Drop the ball. One of my perfect day. Or great day. But it was a good day. Um, a lot of things happening. Goddesses, man. When I'm able to like show my appreciation and things like that, some people out there, man, in this world. Dude. And I really want to just, you know, indebted to you and gracious to you. Um, 
because you can see the, the kindness and the, the caring and compassion. That's all one could ask for, you know what I'm saying? Um, your drive brings other people's drive out. Just like I know my drive will bring other people's drive out. Got all the folks out there. Thank you, excellent this, <laughs> excellent this. <laughs> I'd like to meet you one day. We seem like like-minded type characters and stuff. Um, so many great people out there, man, doing so many great things. And uh, I appreciate that. And I know if you're working, if you are being a wealth of guidance and, and inspiration to myself, then I can imagine what you're doing uh, for, for others. Because I tell you, I'm hard to be inspired by, you know, superficial other kinds. Of, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm real. I don't, I'm trying to gravitate like, what is what does real mean? Like, I'm honest, I'm open. I, if I don't like, I don't like that shit. <laughs> shit. If I like, I, I, I like that. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter what it is. Um, I, Because there's just no reason to be anything else to me. I can only be sure I'm the best, though. You know what I'm saying? Try to be the best. Imitate somebody else and all that stuff. Am I? <laughs> I wanted to address this because I... If anything, the per the individual is one like my let me see. Yeah, he he in my top ten of rappers. Probably in my top five of rappers in the past. And that's Scarface. And many have said, You sound like Scarface. You try to sound like Scarface. No, I ain't trying to say, I ain't trying to sound like Cat Daddy, man, but I mean I I recognize that you can kind of flavor some of that. I'm I'm from California, and I was raised in Texas. You know what I'm saying? I'm 14 years in California, and then came came to Texas and, and been raised. So I have, you know, California swag. I mean, Texas swag. And, and who emulates it best? In that Texas swag, you know, Scarface. You know what I'm saying? Um, Brad, <laughs> cool dude, and uh, and Bumby. So I said Bumby, like all them cats, man. But I grew up on these people, you know what I'm saying? So I admire and um, and and if I I probably do unconsciously, you know what I'm saying? That's who I grew up on. Ghetto boys, you know, Willie D. Yeah, all of them, man. Shit. Um, Slim Thug, Paul Wall. Look, so I was that kid. I love that music. Still love that music. That's what people understand. It's just crazy how you know we get to a point where that. I don't feel there's should be a distance between I'm so holy and out of touch with sometimes I'm off the word. Yeah, I, I there's things I won't participate because that ain't you know what I'm saying? But to not understand it where it's coming from or gravitate from it and not still have a pulse on it because you once was that person that loved booty music, shaking music, cussing, da da da, you mind anything. But now you didn't got here. Now it's like, nah, I, I can't do that. Mm -mm. I can't, I can't. You see what I'm talking about? Because we need to understand there's phases in your life. And of course, you, you you graduate, you evolve. You shouldn't be in that phase of listening to beat me my money, my money. Yeah, it's come to a point where that, like, okay, yeah. Nah. So when I'm doing what I'm doing, sound to it, I understand that the young one's going to do it anyway and look at you like, I mean, I, I scrolled up and one for female, like, with the middle finger, like, <laughs> it totally understood it. It's like, hey, old fool, won't give a damn what you talking about. You, you, nobody said, you know what I'm saying? Wasn't nobody like you around there. In your ear with all that crap, uh, talking about don't listen to this and don't. Listen. But they didn't. Understand. They don't understand. Yes, there was. <laughs> Dolores Tucker, all kinds of my mama. <laughs> That's what it was. More back then when we were growing up, and old folks, help me out on this. Be real. This music today, the the the, the, the more demonstrous, the booty just like I, I want to spank you. I want to little, you know, all that crazy stuff. If uh two live crew, there was only <laughs> Uncle Luke, hey, Uncle Luke, hey, there was only a couple handful of like 
folks that you like uh censor that censor that censor that you know what i'm saying and Pac was one of them you know they got the foods out there so there was only a handful so watch this the censorship really though was in your house your mama daddy heard that boy <laughs> He had to listen that up to sleep. And you had your walk went on and all that. See what I'm saying? So we had to listen to so much sleep because our parents were like, what did they say? What did you say? And we talking about just the basic words, F or the, the S, you know what I'm saying? Nowadays, all the boys, stop. Boys, boys and dudes call them bull, you know what I mean? All this stuff. So it was censored in the home first and then it's censored outside the home. See what I'm saying? And then Get me, but then it came to a point. And watch this, and people they try to gravitate. Well, what happened? We need to understand something. Once again, friends, we get amnesia, right? When them eighties came around, that crack and all this stuff, we just think it was the drugs. Not no, no, no. It was the process of be bring the the, the woman down to her knees because she's the pinnacle. She's the she's the stability. She's the everything. She's the fifth element. So you break her spirit. Of being that woman, that glue in the house, like Big Mama. Break that spirit. That one where you come in and Big Mama, <laughs> Big Mama that worked all night and stuff, made about a hundred dollars, right? And Big Mama, Big Mama didn't go to the bank. Big Mama put eighty dollars in her purse and twenty dollars in that jar to sit up there or some or heat or something like that. With a, mm, mm, was teaching you stuff like that. Big mom teaching you morals and man, and we laugh about Tyler Perry and stuff. We we laugh. We just we want to be drama, and we don't catch the picture what Tyler Perry was saying with the whole big picture, man. That's Big Mama. Tyler Perry was Big Mama, right? Big Mama was funny as hell, ain't? He? What lessons that did we learn? Of? See the disconnect. We went from laughing about Big Mama and how Big Mama was. Instead of listening to and saying, you know, Big Mama was right. Big Mama had it right. And for you young folks, Big Mama, who Big Mama? Big Mama, you go look at that ancient mama uh, bottle. <laughs> you think they make it? I don't know. They do nothing. That's Big Mama. Big Mama had that house locked down, job, whatever. Big Mama go out there, pick crops, cat, whatever, cotton, all that stuff, come back, fix a slamming meal. Everybody knocked out sleep. Big mom woke up before everybody cook a slamming breakfast. Here go the boys, everybody going out to pick cotton. Who right behind you? Pink cotton. Y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop. This is for young folks. These are just the old tradition that we was raised on. What it do for you? Keep it grounded. Keep it grounded. Keep families. Yeah. Back then, you had 15 to the house. So your mom and dad was out there having kids, 10. Now, I seen some historic. I seen somebody had 20 quid. I was like, man, there's people out there no more. I was like, golly. But you could do that back then because back then, your kids, having kids back then, it was probably, it was, you were considered wealthy having a bunch of kids because that brought prosperity to your foundation of building. You know what I'm saying? Small, small house you, you start in, and then as kids get older, they start working for the daddy, carpenter, whatever, whatever, restaurant, whatever, we working, and we start, we expand. And then stay, stay family. Stay family. I'm talking family member with Brian Tolford, they got married. Female, female, stay in the goddamn house for till 20 something. Longer than that, because the daddy be like, mm -mm. Till Mr. Wright come, you ain't going nowhere. Mm -hmm. They kicked the mail out. <laughs> the mail would want to go anyway. Back then, mail running. Man, I gotta get it. Really, kids back then were trying quick. Man, you know what I mean? My dad too strict. My mom too strict. Today, should kid gonna come back and live with you? Live all of you? I ain't talking about the good ones. I ain't talking about boom, boom, boom. got a job. I got me a boom, got a job. Pay his own bills, pay his own way. I, 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 Lord, have mercy. Thank you, Almighty. I thank Almighty every day for allowing me to be who I am so I can train my child to be independent. Beautiful thing.
And that's what a lot of us ain't doing. That that's all I'm saying. And we're not doing it because we haven't been taught ourselves. You know, people in their forties and fifties, sixties, and you some of us would be amazed. And that's why some of us look at like, why are you doing what you're doing? Because you think you got your stuff straight and you think the next people next to you, same age and all this, got the same type of skills and and you wondering why you arguing with your your friend and all this stuff. Because your friend ain't got the skills you got. I had to tell that to my son. My son's in there looking at got an apartment over here a couple of years back with some people and stuff. And they ain't no daddy, what the son, I told you everybody ain't gonna be raised like you. Everybody ain't gonna have no principal morals and values and all that stuff. Everybody no. You're gonna see some savagery out here. You sure know. Six months later, I'm over there helping to move out of the house. Not because his fault. And I promise, I even shocked my dang self because what I see, I said, bro, I bet your house nasty. But your apartment, I don't come, y'all don't want me to come over that apartment and, and go off on you. I can't go off on everybody else, kid, but I can go off on you. And that'll show the example. I embarrass you so much that it'll flow off of them and embarrass them because they was nasty, the friends. My son ain't, he ain't nasty, but he ain't no clean dude. You know what I'm saying? He ain't no, he's a regular kid like that. You know what I'm saying? But he know pick up my clothes, can clean my toilet bowl. That nasty. So nasty that he was trying to clean up other. I was like, bro, y'all grown. What you need to do, drop them off. Like I need to do. Like I'm gonna do. Train pushing out. I'll, let me tell you something. <laughs> Thank you. Old dog learning them tricks. <laughs> so the train, hey, keep doing what you're doing. So the affirmation for the whole week. We're, we got to work this, y'all. Be good to yourself so that you, you know you can be good to other people, right? Find solutions. You have a problem with people and stuff, find a solution, all right? I can tell you today, man, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself. You, you. So it brought me to the two. I'm proud of myself. All right? Because the person five, ten years ago, that person in this situation today and a lot of the situations that I've been placed in because of the stuff that I have allowed to happen because of my naivety. Nai all right? That's one thing I got to hold, man. I'm a, na a naive person at times. Please don't come challenge that right now, cause not now. I ain't. I don't trust nobody. <laughs> I do. I got about five. <laughs> so you outside that five circle. I don't trust people. I'm just being real with it. And the honest thing about that, I don't want to go too far. The honest thing about that, I hate that. I can't. I ain't not gonna sit up here. I'm not to y'all, cause that's energy being wasted. So I say that to this. I understand why people that get wealthy and rich have the attitude they do. I always have. Because they have to deal with this stuff. Same stuff. Family coming at you. Didn't like you when, before you had money, but now you get money or whatever. Now you got money. Now you got money. And the hypocrisy behind that and all that stuff. And they always come out like, eh, 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 eh. so I, man, I never tell you I ain't, I understand. It's just how we do it. You might can't help your family, whatever. Else. You might can't help other things prop up and stuff. And I ain't talking about the businesses and stuff. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the social, social, the social structure, man. The social structure that we permeate. Because when our kids get to having destructive behavior and doing the most, outdoing the parents. When the kids get to outdoing the parents, that's when we know. Look at the parents. What we doing? We, what y'all doing? I don't let me go on in this house. Y'all y'all doing too much. We just close the door. As long as they outside. We wrong for that. We wrong for that. Because then we get upset when somebody died, gets shot, and it's one of ours, or it's one of our friends, or something like that. And, <laughs> stop. How you crying for? You didn't do nothing to stop it. When you could have talked to somebody. But you sit there and say, nah, they too hard headed. You can't, I ain't, I ain't taking time. 
nobody did that for your ass, and you 53 right now, sitting right now. They could have said, you hard-headed, Sean. And you are. Probation officer could have gave up on you. Teacher could have gave up. Boy, your mama could have gave up on you. Daddy could have gave up on you. Coaches could have gave up on you. You know you hard-headed, right? Why did they not give up on you? Because they see themselves. I give up on him, giving up on myself. So you wonder why I do it. I do. I give up on giving what was given to me as a gift. As a power. Bound over things, withstand things. Then I'm wrong. And there's no reason for me to be here. I'm talking about myself. You have to find, we all have to find our own calling, right? But I know what it is. It's not down here to be worried about this out of crap more than worried about. It's just not. You came down there to engage with God's best, us. And we said, okay, we kind of get tired of us. Honey, I'm kind of tired of the cave. The dinosaur who the hook was around, all that kind of stuff. Look, I'm kind of getting tired of you. I've been with you for about 500 years. <laughs> you see, you don't get tired of your ass, too. <laughs> Let's populate. <laughs> so start populating. Make it more people. <laughs> people like, hey, I, I get tired of just doing this. Just making people, that's all it. Some of the women got together. We got, can you make us a waterfall? Can you make us a garden? Hey, we got this vision. Can you make this castle? Can you make? Mm -hmm. And those men got to work. Making things suitable for us. So that the only thing to do was not just be with your concubine, your baby, your love. You want to go water slide? You want to go on this roller coaster? You want to go dip? Come on, y'all. All right? So we down here for each other, y'all. That's the part. That's that's the reality, man. You down here for each other. Yeah. My NASA house, y'all leave. Yes. A young person asked me, told me basically that they had heard uh, the analogy of uh, the devil's den is the son who came down here and created this this world and the mother who allowed it because she made universe. She wasn't worried about Pacific worlds and stuff. She made the universe, right? And she gave us sons. Sons. Okay. Sons. The authority over their realm. So now they got the authority over their realm. And the only thing, Rod Hayes, man, it's almost like I live in that man's mind. I try to as much as I can, please. Um, if you ever get a chance, you know, some of you young folks, I would encourage you, the people I would encourage you to follow and look at the old stuff that I did when I was um, really just deep, you know, about three years ago, just deep, just said, you know, all I'm going to do is every day spend, <laughs> and I did. Every day, spend about eight hours, ten hours, just watch, just almost like reading a book. So, the the ones that I did these for people um, started off with Brother C. L. Freeman, right? Brother C. L. Freeman, vast amount of lectures. Brother Panic, who's a student of Bobby Hemmett. Everybody knows Bobby Hemmett. Those who don't, Bobby Hemmett, who's a school, who was a student of Brother C.L. Freeman, Myra Moss, who was, a student, who was a student, also. Myra Moss, she still had to see the other day, watch one other beautiful lady, Silo. I don't think Silo, she was younger at that time. So these are videos in the 80s and 70s, 80s and 90s. <clears throat> um, Dr. Phil Valentine, um, Dr. Clark, Dr. Uh, uh, I remember uh, 
Elsa. Uh, uh, young Pharaoh. A lot of young Pharaoh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say this. Because it's a... It's an older person admiring the tenacity, the courage, the wisdom, the spirit. That's a warrior right there. <laughs> That's a warrior right there. Just like Jamal, Jamal Rashad. Yeah. So you all, young folk, you've already, you know, young Pharaoh, Jamal Rashad. Know what I tell people, man? You, a lot of people will be looking at, well, you like this. I don't, I'm not looking at the person. I'm looking at the spirit of the person and what they have to offer to the format of the realm. You know what I'm saying? And, and a light thing, like, ooh, I wish I could get with that person in. We could talk and do the it's, No. <laughs> it's, the, it's the message, man. You know what I'm saying? But that's what you get. We, we, we on this light bus. And the reason why is because you don't even like yourself. That's what we're trying to learn. When you like yourself, you won't question stuff like they won't say things like like you uh, a, a person who says, "Yeah, man, I'm, I'm digging that young Pharaoh, man, big man." And I tell you to another person, another person wants that, and they 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 like me and stuff. They say, "Man, yeah, did you hear when he talked about blah, blah, blah? And Steve like, "Why you like him? Yeah, he this and he." I wasn't talking about his. That I'm talking about the message that Almighty put on him to bring to. So I'm talking about, but we get caught up. We got caught up. We get caught up with all of us. That's why I tell you, I don't want you. You like, like, I'm not here for you to like me or whatever. I'm here for, I got a message. I'm here for healing. I'm here for a reason other than you sitting up there, well, I like him. And look at him. Oh, and girl, and the man, and then, no, the message. Everybody that I feel, I feel, should walk away with a message, good or bad. A message. Shit. And you don't get that. You shouldn't even be here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's the wrong reason why I'm here. I ain't trying to. Everybody know where I stand. Okay? I ain't trying to look good for nobody. I just I come on here to do my job, man. Commute with people. Meet beautiful people. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Um. So I'm gonna get off the soapbox, man. Uh, I just I kind of very very inside. Um, at a place where you can see the fruits of your labor. Let's put it that way. Okay. And I know it's not on a physical thing or anything. I just here, seeing the fruits of your labor, being able to do the things that you set out to do for yourself, control this as best you can. As best you can, control this. As best you can, control this. You know what I'm saying? I leave with one more. Um, I've been doing a lot of shedding. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and a lot of people, I, I'm a person, let me tell you something. I cry in front of him. I don't, y'all seen me, I cry on the damn thing. Because like I told you, my mama taught me very well. Son, you're going to laugh sometimes and you're going to cry sometimes. The difference is you got to know why you laughing and why you crying. As long as you know you okay. As long as you know the difference, you okay. Okay? But I show to you, I come to you. So many have seen and said, man, boo, man. It's weak and hot. Hey, I love you. Come on up on me. Come on. That ain't Billy. That's just, I ain't that dude. I'm, I'm a shed, show. That's part of your process of growing. That's part of your process of knowing where the placement of your heart is. Is my heart empty and cold where that I feel no, I have no consciousness or care that that person over there who's out there sitting in the rain and sleet and snow ain't got no shoes on. I don't give a damn. I got to have something to go home. So 
measure. It's a measurement. Measurement when I feel the world, when I feel people, when I feel others going through things. Secret. Many have been wondering why is it people that deal with him get calm or you know, this, that happened. Let me show you. <laughs> I just told you. I just told you and you weren't listening. We all are children of God, every last one of us. Even if you seek the subject of a group of people, a group of high powerful people that had powers of almighty gave to them advanced than the human on being on earth came down. You want to talk about Anunnaki and Nico and all that? Cool. Y'all, that's cool. So they was powerful if they came down and they built us or they made us or whatever. And then some of us made a different varieties of us and stuff, Gen genetics and all that stuff. Cool. At the end of the day, we all came from where? Because what made you, made me, made that, made everything. It was just the process of, except the money. So when we hurt each other and we do all it, we ain't doing nothing but taking parts of ourselves off of ourselves, our inner. So when you attached and you of God, children, and you're trying your best and God see, I'm trying my best, God. Yeah, God, I know, I know. I, I got with somebody that I ain't supposed to get with. Hear my testimony. I know that this was not prescribed for me. I know that some of my marriage that I did on my own, some of the relationships I put in myself in, they were prescribed for me. That was not what I was supposed to be doing. But I did it anyway, free will. I'm here now. I'm in tune with your almighty. I'm trying to do my best. You see me? Yeah, I see you, Sean. I ain't doing the greatest, but I know what I am doing, I'm not deserving of the circumstances, the effects that I'm getting from what I'm doing. I know that, I know that son, I know that. But you know, you gotta go through this, right? I don't know why. See, when I told your ass 20 years ago, do this, do this, do this. I was talking, I was talking. Remember when I was talking to you? You don't remember? Remember that car wreck you got in? Remember that time you got shot and you almost died? Remember them tours you was over there? Remember when you so dehydrated and stuff? You had gallbladder stuff, you thought you were going to die, the goddamn belly was squeezing and stuff? Nobody knew you. You in the firm, you ran to the firm. You like, yeah, I ain't going to wait for nobody to come in again. Hmm. You remember them rockets that was hitting? Hitting, hitting the fire one night, you down there running. You trying to get your exercise on, so you look good and you get back to the mountain state. You look good, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like, I remember. You remember the miles that you was. See, what you, why your crazy ass was out doing all this stuff? Who you think was in the house crying because you out there not doing right? Who you think they was crying to? Who you think they was crying to, talking to? Lord, please change this man. Make it, he a good man. Lord, he a good man. Do something. So as they was crying, and them, 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 man, Lord was like, I got you. I got you. I got you, lady. Might not be on your watch. Might not be with you with him. Okay? I'm going to get his ass. <laughs> truth. I can only get you truth. And yes, you can run from your karma for a while. I, I ran. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. And what you do is you run to people that good people that ain't got karma. So like, you hanging on them. And I'm like, ah, oh, man, God do that. You're like, ah, she didn't got with the good guy. Man, I can't. Right, I can't get you right now. Fool. I'm going to get you. <laughs> yeah, there it is. That's how it works, man. 
God ain't no different than us, man. That's why we are like we are. We we that's why more, more many of you, many know and acknowledge I'm a little God. Because I know how Almighty just go at our ass. You know what I'm saying? They shows us things. Oh, okay. So we here, man. And I'm appreciative of that. Uh, so indebted to a lot of people. And all I can do in that, man, I'm not no dude to be like, man, I uh, I owe you this. Or, nah, I don't, I don't know about nothing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go even harder. I'm going to go harder for those. But you got to understand, too, my pace, man, because just how I feel. A lot of us have put some work in that, man. Military, my military brothers understand. I applaud my military brothers to go out there and after 20 some years and, and go out there and go out and work some more in the civilian sector, man. I shout out to you because you strong. You that's power. Cause there's all of us, those that went across that water got that PTSD, no doubt. You know what I'm saying? It don't make us different because you know PTSD can hit anybody. PTSD hit our young ladies, our rape victims, stuff like that. Murderers like that. People get everybody in this, you know, get PTSD. You know, firemen, policemen, policemen get PTSD. Big people don't realize this. You know what I'm saying? You imagine how many people, police officers got PTSD about their job and doing stuff. And I know I get it too. When we get to what well, they chose that, we can't have that attitude. What you talking about? They chose that job. Yeah, to protect your dumb ass, me and you. And I get it. But they ain't protecting you. You wonder why? You know why they ain't protecting us no more like that? Because what we're talking about, what's the, what we're talking about? You, you, once again, we disconnect from us. Oh, he a police officer. He good. Go to work. No, how you know? He might have lost a partner. What if he lose somebody in his, in his family? How does that affect him when he come back or she when they come back to work? Who do you, do you know that they got in a shootout the other night? Some gangster shot them or somebody there. Or what are the, we, we don't, see what I'm saying? But we just don't give them a benefit of the doubt. Why? Because we're not giving ourselves the benefit of the doubt. You go through problems. Policemen go through problems. Doctors go through problems. Counselors go through the problems. President go through problems. Nurses go through problems. So everybody. Everybody. But we stop caring for each other. We don't even care about us. And that's all. That's all we're trying to bring. Care about yourself. Care about yourself. And most people. <laughs> There's some funny people, man. I, I, I admit. There's some people that can tell you they don't like what you said or what you bring in a most hilarious and funny way. I love that. I love when people make it in humor and stuff. And I'm not just trying to crush you off because it wouldn't matter anyway how anybody comes. I'm still going to do me. Well, on me. But um, to say, <laughs> Steve, for spiritual people, if you was really in tune with yourself, then you would keep what you the 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 strength and knowledge and wisdom to yourself. Well, I, man, I've been schooled too much. I told y'all, I not only did I come out the depths of 14 and start supposed to be a criminal drug dealer, all that stuff, but I came out them depths. This woman, I was in psychology in, in counseling at six, five, six, six, when she thought, I have a child. He ain't doing stuff that other kids, he, why are you up in people's houses and why you, why are you trying to do grown stuff and then run around with money in this? What? What? Dog, my mom, because she, she can't go with the whoopings. The, them whoopings turned to like, ah, I, I get there, yeah, and then go about my business. No, I got my pocket full of money and I can do what I want. So I say this because, oh. Um, do want you to get to know me because to understand me is to understand why I do what I do. So 
when people tell me, shut up, or you keep your problems to yourself, or that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> don't tell me what you're supposed to do. Don't tell me why you would say that because you don't, you can't do this. You're not comfortable with yourself to do this. You don't come, feel comfortable within yourself to understand it, bringing myself and being an open book. That ain't, that ain't gonna harm me because I, I care less what people say about me. Because what you say, when you talk about me, it's in a reverse effect of me. She taught me well. Hey, baby, they they thank you, goddesses, for spitting it. But I always knew that the hate is they want to be you. They can't do what you do. They wondering why is it you can do what you do? Why is it people look at you do what you do? Just that. So, yeah, very. And then I tell him, like I told my son, and put it this way. That's what I just told him. We had a nice little talk today. He's learning. He's grown, open, and I love it because he's seeing his father be open and transparent in public in society. And I'm scared and I fear. He fears for me because he feels like, dang, daddy, you, you just, you so, your aura so strong. You just see people just like, you know, want to grit their teeth like this one because they know the past, dude. And they love that dude. You see what I'm saying? Hey, we, 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 we're doing this. And man, we, 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 we. oh, they love ground balls, low, low, low level types. They love that. But when you get up here, So don't operate there. Don't operate there. You're not. No, no. You're not the fun Sean there. The fun Sean or the destructive Sean? Which one did you like? You like the destructive Sean. It was comfortable. Because I was even good at being destructive. I look good in this destructive shit. You know what I'm talking about? So, yeah. Yeah. Changes. Don't be scared of changes. Okay. Changes coming, y'all. If you need change, you need a new perspective, new outlook on life. Make the change. Especially around my age, man. Over 50, man. Don't be scared. We do. We get scared. We get we not scared. We're we're <clears throat> When you get older, you get comfortable where you established yourself. So you got a little foundation. So you're comfortable. Yeah, that's what you, the point was, you make your comfortable space be. But understanding that um, my space ain't coming, becoming unpeaceful to me. You know what I'm saying? Well, this is when I walk outside, which ain't nobody messing with me, man. I don't care of myself. And so, you know, um, but I know that if I put myself in a better environment, around better people that you get a better shot. This this I know for a fact. And y'all know that too because as you seen, you know, as we graduated, man, I I shot myself, man. I'm brightened up and I'm like, bro, you wanna get up today and do what? <laughs> yeah. You don't want to sleep like you used to. You don't wanna just chill. Hey, nah, just let do some things, man. We see that we making some progress and making people smile and people coming around and, and you gravitating and absorbing the same type minded people and stuff. So uh, you loving this and you loving it because what? I love us. I'm down here to love us, bro. Yeah. Love us. Yeah. To the fullest. Bad, the good, bad, ugly. Good, bad, ugly. You know I'm telling the truth because we watch TikTok. Instagram, Facebook, and we watch us. Listen to us. Us. I, I wish I could. Let me get this. Cause I want to give a shout out to that cat. Two or three or four. Look, we watch us make fun of our dysfunctionalness and drama. And I'll be on this mud road. You, you know what I'm talking about? I, man. The past couple of nights, I've been crying because I don't watch TikTok talk nothing. So I'm, you know, doing a little music, trying to put a little music out and eat this so y'all can hear, you know, vibe with me in your own way and stuff. And, uh, shoot, 
get to watch this couple of these cat daddies, man. And they, that's what I was going to watch it. You watch too, you watch YouTube. You watching other people, all this stuff, watch it. Same people that say that stuff, watch this. I'm sorry going off of it. I'm just kind of, kind of, I'm in the position of squashing a lot of stuff. That's what I'm being now, my vibe. That's good. I, 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 I a lot of, well, you watch too much terror. You, watch, you ever hear somebody say, you watch too much football. You watch too much news. You watch too much golf. You watch too much this. You watch too much that. When it comes to, <laughs> these are the same people be talking about you. So I look at it like this. Watch this. Psychology. Watch this. Yeah, I'd rather watch people on YouTube who's giving me life coaching about their life which if I pay attention, because people can get on here and finesse and be fake, right? But I'd rather watch that person who's not putting on an act. It's coming. Boom, it's boom, boom. And giving me gems and things that's going to serve me. Then sit up there and watch TV. It's just entertaining me. Finessing me. Getting me to the next day. <laughs> it's us. I told y'all though. I ain't the one to come at really, man. That's why she said, yeah, now. Now I'm gonna give you all your power. So now you go and you can and put me at the highest. I don't know. I don't know, son. And what I'm going to do for you, I'm going to give you the unique ability that you ain't got to come all holy and down. You're going to come like the one I sent or the several I sent down there the first time. And they transform what I was trying to do into what they want to do. And they doing it. So I'm going to let you come down, swag like them. Have your mind like them. You know how to think like them. If you want to be them, you can be them easily. You can be the best of them. This I know. You want to run your little block, the crack spot? Well, you could be the best of them. This I know. But I'm going to have you come out like this. You're the diamonds, huh? And there's many of you out there. So that when it's time and you block some of them, you open up, them fools going to be like, but that's one of, that's one of us. And then I just be that walking example. Yeah. If my grime boss ass can change, my dirty ass can change, my womanizing can change. Yeah, my king. Does that work? So now what I do is I just come out and show you the supreme energy that she invested in me. But I have to show you too the before the investment, before she allowed me to have my powers on shit. On doing what I'm supposed to do. I had the wrong people around me. And I don't point the finger at nobody. That's why people hate you. That's why people hate me, baby. Because I accept my flaws. They hate me more because you talk about my past all you want to. I'm going to show people this future. Because my past will talk for itself. 
People know who what I did back in the past. And people see now, no. This stuff don't no, I don't add up. It ain't showing. <laughs> no. Oh, but that's you. <laughs> no, y'all, real talk. 